Hey, I'm Brian Cohn of Beco Knives. In this video, I'm gonna be making an aluminum plate quenching system that'll help me keep my knives nice and straight during the heat treating process. Let's get going. An aluminum plate quenching system is a tool that knife makers use in two different ways. Either with high carbon steels, it's used after the oil quench to make sure that your knives end up laser straight. Or it's used with air hardening steels such as A2 tool steel or other stainless steels as the quench itself. So let's go on and look at what we're working with today. So here's all the things you're gonna need for this build. So the first thing you need is a woodworker's vise. This is a really inexpensive woodworker's vise that you can find at Lowe's. You're gonna need some wood screws to attach the vise to whatever bench you're gonna be putting it on. You're gonna need a drill and tap set and some machine screws to attach the aluminum to the vise. So this aluminum I bought at McMaster Car. So it's four inches wide by one inch thick by three foot long. I will be cutting it in half so that I have two one and a half foot sections. So my first step will be to paint this thing black because I cannot stand this orange color. Let's get going. I'm not looking for an absolute perfect paint job on this vise. I just wanna get rid of as much orange color as I possibly can because I don't really wanna look at it every day in the shop. So, let's get painting. For me. I went ahead and marked out the center line on this three foot piece, giving me two one and a half foot sections. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out on this port of bandsaw. I'm gonna clean up the ends that I just cut on this aluminum on the Broadback 2x72 belt grinder. If you wanna learn more about this belt grinder, go ahead and check out one of my other videos. I did a whole review on this belt grinder. Go check it out. Here's how I'm going to center this vise on the piece of aluminum. So I drew out the center line, and as you can see, this piece of aluminum is flush with my table. So I'm just gonna back it off ever so slightly so that this aluminum doesn't interfere with any of the posts in the back of this vise. So I'm just gonna line up this vise with the center line, mark my two holes. All right, there we go. This is my first time ever using a tap set. So what I've researched is that you're supposed to start off with this tapered tap, and then I will move over to this bottoming tap. It's a flatter, um, bottom on this one tapered so that you can start off nice and square and then I'll be using just a little bit of tapping fluid so
next thing you're gonna have to do is drill out these holes because this quarter inch screw is not gonna fit. Let's get these all screwed together. ready to go. Thank you all for watching. This is a fun, easy project. Um, I'll have a link down in the description to all of the major parts and pieces so that you can build it at home. Um, if you'd like to support me and my channel, go ahead and give this video a like and uh, subscribe to this channel. Uh, check out my links down below to see all my social medias. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day.